What's up guys, welcome back to another EVE Online video. We're going to be going and doing a solo crab beacon. These are the Concord Rogue Analysis beacons. You can only do like, I don't know, three or four of these in a row just because there's like this, I don't know, untangible currency called uh, Complex Encryption Quibits or whatever, CEQs. So those, um, you use them up whenever you actually link to this thing. And then they um, kind of fill up over time. So I'll give you, uh, hopefully give you an idea of like how this uh, operates. Normally, I'm going to do this in the Phoenix solo. But normally what you would want to do is you'd want to like deploy the beacon and link to it with the capital ship. And then once all that's done, you can basically warp the capital ship off. And then the subcap fleet can just uh, clear everything. But uh, we'll go, I'll go ahead and like, uh, we'll get this linked up and I'll kind of write some notes and give you guys an idea of how uh, the process is and all that. All right, let's go get this process started. You're just going to right click on it. We're just going to go uh, launch for self. It does require anchor three to do so. And it'll shoot off like this. As you can see, it takes about, uh, I guess, what, 30 seconds? Or actually, not even that, like 20 seconds to uh, activate. I'll be running uh, EM uh, Torps for this. Once it's up like that, you're going to hit begin link on the capital ship. And now that we've started the linking process, the linking takes four minutes. So while we're doing this, I'm going to go over and we're just going to write some notes here just to kind of illustrate the stages that all of this kind of goes through. So first, you would have... Um, deployment and that usually take that I think it's what I think it was like 20 seconds and then the second phase would be uh, linking and I think that's four minutes double check here real quick yeah four minutes and then once it's done actually um, you're done actually linking you don't really need the capital ship anymore the next part would be the uh, scanning. Now, this is a, uh, a 10 minute countdown. And the 10 minute countdown will pause whenever there's rats on grid. Paused with rats on grid. So our goal is actually to you know, kill them as fast as possible so that the timer can actually you know, start. Once a 10 minute timer counts down to zero, then we get the reward, which is in the cargo for the beacon itself. And then I think the beacon, I think the, uh, the crab will, uh, self-destruct in like two minutes, I think. And then it has a hundred percent, uh, drop rate for the rewards so that's kind of what we're going to be uh, looking at here now obviously you can do this a lot faster if you're not actually just doing it solo with just a capital ship that's how i'm going to do it and as far as as far as rewards go it um i've done i usually do like one or two of these um i never do them like back to back just because the more you the more you do it in a single system, the more interference. And so eventually you won't be able to do it very well in that system. So you kind of like cool off a little bit. So as you can see now, the 10 minute timer has started. So I'm gonna go and turn on hardeners. I'm gonna turn on all my application scripts, my SIBO. There is usually a, a downtime in between waves too, which kind of blows. That's one of the biggest uh, things that I find annoying about crab beacons is uh, the amount of downtime that there is so usually there's about a minute or so gap in between the spawns but and and unlike uh just like rat sites the rats just don't automatically like you know spawn up on top of you they'll actually warp in so there's a small window of when they, you can't get them targeted but i usually try to split these uh launchers um as evenly as i can And obviously, if you're doing it like this, you want to be as careful as possible because 
you know, we are in a capital ship in Null. All right, so we got the first wave here. And so as you can see, the timer is now paused. I'm gonna get, so we have three targets. I'm gonna go ahead and just put one launcher on each and kind of chill and just get them off grid. I wanna try to do a little, see he's gonna go out. This one's gonna go out and and he's going to uh, orbit me at about 60K, which is fine because with our application script, we got, we're gonna siege up because now we have 74K range with the rages. If you don't wanna siege, then you can go um, javelins and you should be good. But yeah, he's gonna go way out there. He's gonna start orbiting. He'll probably be the last one to go down because they're moving pretty fast. These guys, and they're gonna warp scram you. They're gonna do, you know, you know, E-War and, and things like that. But that's why I think it's just better to like, uh, you can do these faster. You can probably, like, they're, you're very gated. Like, right? there's no, you can only do them so fast, right? So if you have like a massive, massive fleet, the more people you have in a fleet, the less money everybody makes, you know, overall. So you have to kind of keep that in mind. But I would say like even in best cases where everything goes down pretty quick, I mean, it's still, I mean, it's still gonna be like a 15 minute kind of ordeal. So usually after they go down like that, then I'll just do a reload and I'll do a shield boost. We will get newts, you know, there'll be uh, uh, several drones that'll come in and they'll newt us. So we're not gonna overrun our booster very much. Once we get it around, yeah, that'll be, I'll get it around like 95% shield and just kind of uh, cut the booster there. We have a battleship coming in now. So we're at eight, it's paused at 828. Battleships go down really easy. So our goal is just to like get this guy targeted. And then we're just gonna throw all the launchers on him. He'll go down pretty quick, you'll see. And if you've never fought, uh, look at the uh, info on here. So their shield gap is uh, for EM zero. So that's why I'm running uh, Mianors. Once these guys land and then what we'll do is we'll probably get these three down and then we'll get maybe 40 seconds of, of downtime. But the slower you clear the rats, the shorter the uh, the time that you have scanning is I'm gonna go two and then one on the battleship just because the cruiser is gonna take a little bit more just because it's a smaller class this is a hodred by the way too we're not running extra large torps these are just we're running uh, we're running dread greases rapid uh, torpedo launchers on this so this is like haul configuration I'm gonna get this down and then we're hoping that we can at least get sub eight minutes uh, in between the next gap. Did one push on the uh, the booster there. All right, and we'll do a reload. I try to get the reload in before, right as soon as the last rack goes down, just because the reload time is a little bit slow. So. When it's red, it's scanning, so I'm just going to click on that. We're hoping to be maybe, I'm hoping to be like seven and a half before the next wave starts. A lot of downtime. <clears throat> I think I would just like. In my experience, I've done like the crab beacons. I've done like a lot of like high end kind of stuff like this, but like I just prefer, I think I would just prefer abyssals to this because there's a lot of, um, I mean, this is literally just like CCP's way of just getting more capitals out in space. And even if you just use a capital for the linking portion and after they're linked and it's scanning, you just warp the capital off. Um, you're still gonna need like marauders or some you know high-end battleships to like really kind of chew through it at a decent rate i would say like you know t3 cruisers and then uh like loki's like loki's tingus and then uh like marauders 
and everything's pretty uh, close in, so you don't even have to necessarily do golems. You could do uh, vargers or something like that. Yeah, we, we're actually six and six and fifty. I get six and a half, and like I said, it's just random. Like sometimes you might be able to get the rats down really, really quick, and then you'll get like a whole two minutes off the timer in between waves. But and then I've had it where they've just you know I've killed all the rats, and then I got one the one battleship come in, and then by the time I get it down, the other ones come in, and it's just you know. I, that's why I usually when I'm calculating like the ISK per hour for crab beacons, I'm usually just rounding it up to like 20 minutes because that's just kind of the average. All right, I got two battleships and a cruiser, which is great. I'm going to actually take the uh, cruiser down first. And then because the battleships will be just a lot quicker. We're going to go three launchers on the cruiser. And also another thing you do too, you can actually, uh, we can um, overheat our launchers as well, which helps. I'm carrying like, I'm carrying quite a bit of nanite repair paste. So that's another option you can do as well. We'll go two and one on this battleship. And that's the other thing I'll do too, is like once the wave is down, I'll do a reload like I have been doing, and then we'll uh, repair modules. We're at 6 minutes 26 seconds. Get this guy down. Hopefully we'll be kind of at the halfway mark. I forgot to show you guys this kind of unedited and, and uncut so that uh, you can kind of see exactly what the experience is like and how much downtime there actually is. Alright. Reload. Repair that module. See, so we just got that one down. We got like maybe 10 seconds before this uh, frigate has come in. And it's usually how it is. Like you'll kill a wave and then one will come in and it just... And this guy's going to be hard to hit. This would be like their, uh, their little tackle. So I just, you know, start the targeting process and then hit the launchers and... Once the target is good, we'll uh, just wait. Getting frigates it really sucks. Because the, uh, even with application scripts, I mean, we're doing all right, but we got three launchers on him. All right, he is down. And I just, I would overdo the reloads. I just want to make sure I'm going into each wave with the, the full launchers. I'm really hoping that we get like at least sub five minutes before the next wave, just to kind of progress through this a little bit. I do like the Phoenix though. Pretty cool. It's one of the better looking dreads, I think. Five minutes. 30, 35 seconds. Come on, let's get sub five minutes. Another wave in. This is where the newt is, and so that's what we're gonna be doing. Where are we going with this newt first? Get him out of the way. Where are you at? There he is. We're just gonna throw all launchers on him, and everybody else will just take down, kind of like we normally have. All right, get these other cruisers. We 
we get four, it's uh, a little bit more time consuming, but just like with anything else, you want to prioritize the uh, the e war. You see, this guy's already out at 60 orbiting, so you want to make sure you're, you know, if you're going to do this with just a dread, make sure you can at least hit <coughs> out that far. Right, we're doing pretty good on cap. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run this booster until we're about 30 or 95% shield. This one's, this guy's starting to move out. And battleship. Did we actually give us five minutes? Nope, we got five minutes, ten seconds. Alright, done. Let's do a reload. Done with the booster at 97%. And we're just hanging out. Now we're less than five minutes. I'll show you guys like the uh, the reward here and all that stuff, what you can expect. But you know, you're probably gonna you're gonna see the reward and you're gonna be like, eh, probably not the best activity. Which is why I really haven't. I mean, I you know a lot of people have been requesting me to do a crab beacon and kind of make a video over it, um, and I hadn't up to this point just because it isn't something that I think is necessarily a awesome gameplay thing. You know, it's just an excuse to like put capitals on the field for mediocre gains. I mean, yeah, with the Bissells, you do have the chance of losing your ship, but also you're not in a capital, you know, sitting in normal space. I do like how this Hall Dread takes down the battleships, though. I'm going to take down the uh, Destructor next because he's painting me. And I'll put the link for this Dread in the description like I always do. But like I said, <clears throat> the best if you were going to actually do this for real, take you know a Dread out, link up, do a linking thing, then take the, uh, the capital off field and then just run the rest of it with a subcap fleet. And then you know, another thing you do is you can have like you know a couple of um, a couple of different capital pilots too, so your CEQs don't have to necessarily all like you just basically burn all the CEQs on one capital pilot, and then if you really want to like kind of run them back to back and really grind them, you can then just swap to another capital pilot that has you know their CEQs maxed out. And also the uh, the rogue these rogue analysis beacons you can get these from the uh, the Concord um, LP store and you'll give them the form of a uh, blueprint copy. Yeah, see, like now that we're getting a little bit closer to completion, we're getting waves a little more frequently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overload rack. We're gonna target everybody up. I'm gonna go split. Even with the SIBO, is the targeting resolution is still pretty slow, but it's a lot better than if you weren't running one. Get our booster on for a few cycles. got four minutes even so I'm hoping we get this wave down we at least you know get a minute off the clock but yeah it, it is possible to do it solo with a, just a single cap. Is it efficient? No. <laughs> All right, let's repair, reload. I right, left the booster going. 
It'll be fine. That's where he level at. 26 on the highs, 25. Looks like this, three minutes and 30 seconds. I like the lights and how they look. Especially with this headhunter skin. Come on, sub three minutes, let's go. That's what you'll do too, is if you're running this solo, you're going to be like, oh, you know, setting little goals for yourself for in between waves. I've run one the other day where it would literally hit zero seconds and I had a battleship come in and then it paused it and rounded it up to like two seconds left on the clock, which was uh, obnoxious, but two minute 48. It'd be a lot quicker if they didn't do like the whole little like warp in thing. So the battleship and the battle cruiser are the newts. So we're gonna take them down first. And I'm pretty sure these infested corruption dudes are from the battleship, so they'll go away once we take the battleship down. Go three launchers on both on um, each one of them. Just take them out. I'm going for the one further out right now, just because he is just going to orbit me. We just need like <clears throat> the flight time. So ugly looking. Okay, this way it took a little bit longer to get down just because everything is so far out. Whenever you have to prioritize the newts, then you know, it, and whenever you let these other ones go out really far. So we're gonna take down these two and hopefully we get another wave. Because we barely we're just getting back we got a back-to-back -back wave there. I'm gonna get the be the battleship last, I think. I like looking at these things though. They're like really ugly. And we're doing a reload. That's always great. Get a double spawn and then you end up having to do a reload. And if you leave grid to the uh, rats will just destroy the beacon. So, you wanna give them at least something to shoot at. And there's another wave, great. <laughs> so, they definitely get more frequent as the uh, beacon goes on. So, we're gonna have to just basically be overloading to get everything down and give us some, uh, some time. We'll go two and one on this. Just try to get a little bit of scanning done. It's RNG too, right? Like if the wave, you know, was more tackle based and like battleship based and they're closer to me, then they go down faster. <clears throat> but we've been getting these waves of all these, these drones that are just going to uh, circle us at 60K, which just slows us down even more because of flight time for the missiles and also just the fact that you know we can barely you know applications not that great either and I'm running this is a max missile too so the damage doesn't get much better than this and you could probably run you know some some more missile clone stuff but all right let's do a reload real quick 
and a repair. Do one cycle on the booster. Just because we're at 37% capacitor. And I'm really kind of hoping we get, after all that, I'm hoping we get about a minute off the clock here. I'm just gonna have to like, and also um, I'm running uh, maxed uh, nanite skills as well, just because you're, you're gonna have to overheat on some of these later waves and you want as much value for your nanite repair paste as you can get. So thermo, uh, thermodynamics, you know, five, nanite interfacing five, nanite operation five, stuff like that. All right, so two minutes. I think we'll probably, we might get a um, minute and a half on the clock with another wave. So, we might get lucky, might be sub one minute. RNG. Show you what this uh, beacon looks like. Look pretty cool. Get that out of here. We might actually get sub one minute after we got like the really horrible uh, three wave back to back. Oh, there was another wave. Almost, almost. One minute, six seconds. He had rounded it up. It was actually, it added three seconds to the, to the clock there. We're gonna do the best we can to split targets. Go and overheat. you get the frigate last in normal cases um when your subclap fleet your your sub cap fleet is gonna have to take down the uh the uh tackle frigate just because you know especially if you still have the uh the capital on field you wanna and we right at this moment we have actually two warp scrams it looks like Yeah, from the infesting uh, obstructor and uh, vector. And instead of building up on these two, we're just gonna start throwing torps at the frigate. Cruising way out there at 60 already. But he's done. Once uh, this wave is down, we're gonna have to do another repair. Heat level is pretty high. That's why you want really good um, overheating skills. Because otherwise, you'd be uh, getting damn close on some of these modules. A module has run we're about to hit a reload too. So we're hoping we can actually get this guy down before every gun reloads. But I don't think we're going to get that lucky. Which is just going to run us closer to the next wave. Hopefully a couple more hits. Go and repair all. Do a reload and we have a battleship. So would it round up to round it up to a minute, so that's fine. If it's just a single battleship, we'll be fine. We are waiting on really slow reload, but also the, we're waiting on targeting as well. I'm just gonna throw all three launchers at once. Come on, there we go. The battleship came in like real quick. Booster. Reload again. Check our time. 54 seconds. I used to run a cat booster with this because of like um, the fact that there was newts uh, part of it. But 
they ended up just it just the charges ended up just taking too much space out from like Strawn to where like nano repair pace and also the nukes aren't that you know strong. Obviously, it's something you want to uh, keep an eye on, but that's why we just don't like expand the booster. You know, you could probably actually just you know keep the you keep your shield at like ninety percent if you're doing this with a single cap, and you'd be fine. What do we get paused at? Twenty-two seconds. So hopefully, we can take these guys down fast enough. This will be like the last little wave. So I'm gonna overheat and go three on the cruiser. Battle cruiser. And then we'll follow up on the battleship. As long as we don't get like, you know, the overlap spawn, we should be good. go and right click on here I'm gonna go ahead and open cargo which I have my cargo on the off, off of the screen but once the uh, the loot drops I'll drag it over so where we can see it's probably gonna be it'll, pro it'll be probably north of a hundred million but it would have to you know <laughs> it has to be very significant in order to make this kind of worth it like I would expect you know something okay we are done. I'm just doing a little housekeeping here. Down siege, repair all, and let me drag this over. So that is our loot right there. Look at, we got another rat spawn too. Delayed. So this one was worth 214 million, which is actually higher than I've seen it in a while. We're kind. Of, we're gonna. We're gonna fight these rats just because we're still in siege. So, but yeah, 214. Not bad. If you ran three back to back and you got that lucky, you know you're looking at like a bill an hour, you know, or 600 million ish. But if you run like a fleet, you could definitely do like a billion an hour. You just have to the hob swap out your capital pilot. And maybe have a couple of systems that you can uh, work with, so interference isn't that bad. Got two minutes and forty seconds on the siege, but we'll take this rat down. But there you go. That is what a crab beacon looks like, and two hundred fourteen million for about twenty-ish minutes, twenty-five minutes, or, or whatever. So, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.